Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I wanted to uh, upload a video talking about um, the future of uh, science, the future of mathematics, and what will happen to it. And um, I don't want to be talking about uh, gloom and doom for um, the study of uh, what people see as enlightenment, you know, like education. You know, I, I don't want to have any negativity toward that, but after studying and understanding um, true enlightenment, which is uh, understanding chi energy and connecting to the earth and uh, understanding how to perform telekinesis and telekinetic abilities, le learning to recognize them in yourself, learning to perform them and to just, you know, make it happen for yourself after studying all of that after thinking and thinking about it uh, uh, I believe wholeheartedly 100 percent that uh, after watching some videos that um, other scientists legit physicists say that uh, one in particular I forgot his name he already made um, a manuscript describing um, the emotions and uh, um, the subtleties of of, of of human energy and human thought, human intention that goes far beyond and past the speed of light. And uh, even he says that we are co-creators, co-creators of the universe. God created human beings or this um, higher level being created people to be co-creators of the universe, to create things that they want, to manifest anything that they want. To create planets and to and to change things and to make things happen, anything. And so, after thinking about that, and after being able to perform some telekinetic abilities and realizing that telekinesis is 100% real, 100% real, without no doubt, it is real, 100%. I'm able to uh, manipulate objects with my mind. Have you seen? As you've seen on my profile, on YouTube profile, and on Instagram. You know, um, it took a little bit of focus. It took a little bit. What you have to do is use your consciousness, and it's a little technical. It's a little. It's very specific. You know, it's very particular, but you can hone it, hone it. And uh, um, I believe that we are no longer going to need need to learn mathematics in the future, or no longer going to need to be educated um, to learn. Um, to learn about physics, mutation physics, or relativity, or learn about high-level calculus, or um, quantum mechanics, mathematics. No, we don't need to. As human beings, we do not. We do not need to learn that. And all of the things about the Clay Institute, the Clay Institute mathematics, all these problems are trying to solve. This top seven or top six problems of of the human race. You know, Riemann hypothesis and the Hodge conjecture and all this other stuff all those things all mathematics everything that science has put together in the history since the beginning all the way till now is all gonna be basically all obliterated it's gonna be destroyed it's all gonna be completely just uh... just completely flattened into nothing it's not gonna exist the only thing we're going to need is just our mind and ourselves we're gonna be able to solve all the problems that we will, will ever encounter as individuals in our, in, in, in our personal lives or as, as a race on the earth. We're going to be able to solve anything and think of anything that we want to do. In the, in the future, when people get more connected with sheet energy and telekinesis and, and uh, connecting with the earth and spiritual realm and everything of the universe, we're going to be able as individuals manifest. We're going to be able to make our dreams come true. We're all going to be able to become somebody. We're all going to be able, like I said, we're all going to be able to manifest anything from thin air. Objects. Um, manifest, um, um, as crazy as it sounds, maybe even people or entities. We're going to be able to manifest um, objects or devices, working devices. We can manifest our own damn computer. Create our own computer from our mind and make it come to reality in front of us. A working device with inner working uh, 
construction, inner working uh, things, cogs and wheels and wires and lights and and uh, and the chip in it and just everything. You know, make your own damn car, a functioning working device. We're not gonna need any uh, almost anything no more because we're gonna be the ones that are gonna create these things and manifest anything we want. It's gonna take work. It's gonna take a lot of dedication. You're gonna have to connect to. You're gonna have to uh, strengthen your chi energy, strengthen your telekinetic abilities, strengthen your focus, strengthen your your sensitivities. Let your consciousness be your guide. Stereotypically speaking, cliche as it is, let your conscience just let go and let your let your conscience be fifty percent the work, and you be other fifty percent, and you can do anything. If you want to be like Peter Pan, you can, you want to fly, go fly. We're gonna all be able to fly in the air. It, you, you know, if you want to walk up a staircase, an invisible staircase, up to a ten a ten story tall building, you can create a staircase or an elevator. You could walk through walls. You could you could uh, change the color of your vehicle, change the colors of your clothes. You're gonna be able to uh, you know warp space time by just focusing your chi and telekinetic energy and just warping space time, creating an indention in space time just for fun. You know, creating uh, uh, portals, uh, tr time traveling. We're not gonna able. We see science. We think that we need science to create these devices to teleport us into space, into different different areas of space, different dimensions, different time periods, time travel. No, we're not gonna need a big clock, clunky ass device. It's gonna take millions of billions of dollars to create time machine or whatever to create a time machine. All we need to do is just. Be hone all our energy, all our telekinetic energy, all our chi energy, and we're gonna be able to create our own time machine within ourselves and time travel at any point in space, time travel at any point in our lives, time travel at any point in history, and come right back here, whether it be mentally, spiritually detaching yourself or physically leaving this dimension to another dimension, without having to use a device, without having to use a machine. A vehicle to take us anywhere that's one reason why science is going to be obliterated because we think that we need cell phones but in the future we're going to be able to message and speak to each other telekinetically uh, telepathically to each other instantaneously without having to use a device a cell phone a flat cell phone spend our harder wor working money on a, on a device when we could just do it for free we could time travel for free we could go to the moon for free because we, we we have the power to do that. We can do that. We can travel anywhere. We could message anyone. We can communicate with anyone. Send messages, photos, videos, um, records of our memories to them, our emotions to them, without having to purchase a cell phone. We're not going to need to use um, cars anymore. That's one reason why uh, science is going to be obliterated. Because we need science to create cell phones. We need science to advance vehicles. We need science to create robots, but we can manifest our own robots. We can create our own devices. We can create any robot that we want to create. We, we think we need science to create a computer for us to re re record all our stuff, which is, I think, um, I think that might actually be something that we do need, you know, um, just to have as record and just whatever and just to have fun with. But uh, you can always, you know, store all the memory inside your head, but, you know, um, but I think the only thing we'll need is just a computer, and just a very basic one. You know, you don't need to spend money. You know, 2015 computer, once you have that, you can have that for the rest of your life. You don't need to advance or, 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 or update it or nothing like that, you know. Because you're the most advanced device. You are. You're the most updated. You're beyond updated. You're, you're like, you're infinity updated. You're, you're updated beyond infinity. You don't need to update ever, you know. But that's why... Science is going to be completely obliterated and destroyed because we're going to be the ones to manifest everything. We're no longer going to need to learn um, distances or learn to, like, decide, uh, you know, okay, well, it's 10 feet away, so uh, let's we'll see, my trajectory should be around. You know, I mean, you're not going to need to do that because you're going to feel. If you want to send a projectile to a target that's 20 feet away, but you don't know it's 20 feet away, all you need to do is just feel how far it is look at the distance you don't need to calculate it or write down the 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 of uh, the algebra of, of it and all this stupid shit you don't need your trigonometry to do it you just need your 
your um, consciousness and your intuition and your vision and yourself to just see and feel the distance of how far you want the trip how far and how accurate you want your projectile to hit the target and it, you just do it you know we don't need to learn mathematics to teach us that uh, a chair has uh, four legs we don't need high level calculus and high level trigonometry we don't need college mathematics uh, uh, or quantum mechanics to teach us how to time travel or to know that it's logical to do it or not or that there's limitations or that it's possible or not we don't need to sit at home and spend half of our lives studying if it's possible to uh, to uh, teleport from your house to uh, Ursa Minor you know we don't need that because we as human beings we have all the answers within us we're born with the answers we're born with the abilities just do it just do it that's all we're gonna need to do we don't need to we don't need some uh, some uh, feeble person sorry some feeble-minded person to just sit at home and to say that no you're wrong because the the calculations here says that you're incorrect now um, give me two more years and I'll find a solution you don't need to you don't need an individual to tell you no we all can just do it that's why mathematics is going to be obliterated because you're no longer going to need to think in a technical uh, calculating term all the time you're gonna to need to just do it and just feel it and just do it, and and you, you and and all these things like the Riemann hypothesis and the Hodge conjecture, all those problems. You know, you know, it's it, it'll be fun just to have, just to solve and just to play around with, like little like a little a puzzle to play with, you know. But you're gonna be breaking and solving the solutions without even knowing it. You're gonna be solving the solution of the Riemann hypothesis by just teleporting from one place to another without even knowing it. You're going to be solving the problems of the Hodge conjecture by warping space and time without even knowing it. You're just going to do it. And and I think that the math uh, science, all science is going to be um, it's going to be the new pseudoscience in the future. And, and people are going to look at, at studying math and, and science as almost the same as pseudoscience, like they're going to see them as foolish. Like, why are you down on the floor crawling when you could be standing on your feet? The person, science is going to be the, the animal dragging its body on the floor, and the people using the chi energy and telekinetic abilities are going to be people that are involved walking on their two legs. And that's what's going to be. The only thing we're going to need math is just basic elementary mathematics. And some early, early years, uh, maybe middle school math, may, may just elementary middle school math. Not even, not even all of the middle school mathematics. Just the early years, basic geometry, basic mathematics, basic division, basic fractions, basic things. Just to kind of, you know, understand little things of our reality. Just that type of math is always going to be needed for the rest of our lives, for the whole human race, forever. We're not going to need high-level mathematics that's totally complicated. We're not going to need, you know, all this long, ugly-ass looking, written on paper mathematics. This Rick Cispitus, and that's my thoughts, and thank you guys for watching, and that's the end of math uh, of science as we know it, because we're going to have the power to solve and do anything we want to do. Thank you.